Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor of Mechanical Engineering, Anjaleyamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vanni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on the subject Design of Transmission System. And this is lecture number 1.1, Design of Flat Belt. So, we are going to discuss the details about the flat belt and the design procedure. The topic we are going to discuss in this lecture are the belt drive, selection of belt drive, types of the belt drive, flat belt, V belt, round belt, timing belt, belt material, belt friction and the belt joints. So, in the earlier you studied the design of machine elements, the certain concepts of design of machine elements is also applicable in the design of transmission system. So, you, re you are requested to review the previous subject what you studied in the earlier semester design of machine elements and the learning outcome for this lecture at the end of the lecture the student will be able to state the factors of belt selection describe the types of belt drives and define the belt ply the belt ropes chains are used to transmit power from one shaft to another by means of pulley which rotate at same speed or at different speeds. Belts, ropes and chains are flexible elements used in conveying system and in transmission of power over comparatively longer distance. So, these three drives belt, rope and chains they are used for transmitting power for a longer distance. The distance between the two pulleys are longer in this case. The amount of power transmit transmitted by these drives depends upon the following factors. The velocity of the belt, the tension under which the belt is placed on the pulley, the arc of contact between the pulley and the smaller pulley, the arc of contact between the belt and the smaller pulley, the condition under which the belt is used, the working condition and type of the machine, whether this is intermittent shocking load or normal load or a heavy load, light load. So, depending on the working condition, the power transmitted by the belt may vary. The power transmitted by the friction between the belt and contact surface of the pulley. So, the friction plays very important role in the power transmission by means of belts. The selection of the belt dry. So, we have to consider the following factor in the selection of the belt drive speed of the driving and the driven shaft, the speed reduction ratio I, the ratio of the speed between the driving and the driven shaft, power to be transmitted, the center distance between the shaft, the positive drive requirements, the shaft layout, whether this is horizontal layout or vertical layout or incline layout, the space available for the drive and the service conditions. There are three types of belt drives. So, the light drives, these are used to transmit smaller power at a belt speed up to 10 meters per second as in the case of agricultural machine and small, small machine tools. And you may find the machine tools are using the belt drive, particularly lathe, if you find lathe drilling machine or milling machine, the power is transmitted by means of belts. Medium drives, so these are used to transmit medium power at the belt speed over 10 meters per second, but up to 22 meters per second as in the machine tools. Then the heavy drives, these are to, these are used to transmit larger power at a belt speed above 22 meters per second as in the case of compressor and generator. So, depending on the belt speed, we classify whether this is light drive, medium drive and uh, heavy drives and the belt drives are also classified as flat belt, V belt, round belt and timing belt and this is the, these are all the classification, these are all the types of the belt drives used. So, this is the flat belt, so look at the cross section of the flat belt, it is rectangular, it is running over the pulley and we have V belt, so the shape of the cross section of the V belt is trapezium it is running on the groove. So, we have a groove on the pulley. So, the V belts are running on the groove. And the circular belt, 
so it is circular in cross section here again we require a groove for the running of the circular belt and the timing belt we have the ribs on the inner surface of the belt so which will give the timing so the, this is these are all the four different types of belt we use in our power transmission and the flat belt are were used early inline shafting to transmit power in the factories so the earlier design is only flat belt they are also used in the farming mining sawmill blower water pump and electrical generator the flat belt is a simple system of power transmission it delivered high power for high speed so up to we can run up to 500 hp for 300 meters per minute in cases of wide belt and larger pulleys flat belts are running on crowned pulleys these belts stayed centered on the pulley without any guides or flanges the key to keeping them tracking centered in the pulley is due to the crowned pulleys so we will see crowned pulley letters the crowned pulley is a pulley that has slight hump in the middle tapering off tapering off ever so slightly towards the edge so it will have a hump at the middle and it will be tapering towards the two ends of the pulley that is what crowned type of pulleys and these are all the different types of belt drive you may find in various factories for power transmission and this is the smaller pulley and this is the larger pulley and the power is transmitted by over the pulley by running by rotating the pulleys and one will be the driving shaft another will another one will be driven shaft so in the driving shaft the motor is connected depending on the speed ratio required uh, either of the smaller pulley or the larger pulley will be the driving shaft v belt v belt solve the slippage and alignment problem in the case of flat belt so flat belt there will be problem slippage or the alignment that can be resolved by using the v belt it is now the basic belt for power transmission so many of the applications we are using the v belt the they provide the best combination of traction speed movement and load on the bearing and long service life so they are better in the case as in the as compared to the v flat belt drive so v belt was developed in 1917 by john gates on the gates rubber company they are generally endless and they are and their general, general cross section shapes trapezoidal so the cross section of the v belt is trapezoidal for a higher power requirement two or more v belt can be joined side by side in an arrangement called multi v running on machining machining uh, mach uh, matching running on matching multi groove sheaves the strength of this belt is obtained by reinforcement with fiber like steel or poly and polyester so the strength of the belt any belt v belt or the flat belt can be increased by reinforcement using the material like steel or polyester and this graph shows the relative efficiency of the flat belt and the v belt so the if you look at the diagram so for the given power power ratio and the efficiency will be more for the flat belt so the the flat belt are more efficient than the v belt drive and these are all the some of the configuration arrangements of v belt drive used in various factories and this is the multiple v belt so we have multiple uh, v and the corresponding grooves they are fitting into the grooves so that is called as multiple v belt and uh, sometimes we use single belt so single belt in multiple numbers so this is multiple v the cross section of the belt is multiple v sometimes we use the single multiple numbers of single v belt and this is the timing belt so where we have gear like shape of the wheel so where the slot the trip, i mean the timing belt is matching with the groove and it is running and it is used for the timing actually for for actuating mechanism for act, some of the actuators we are using the timing belt 
Round belt or circular cross section belt designed to run in a pulley with a circular groove. So, or nearly circular groove, not exactly circular groove or nearly circular groove. They are for use in low torque situation and may be purchased in various length or cut to a length and joined either by staple, gluing or welding as in the case of polyurethane. So, depending on the material, we can either go for stapling, gluing or welding of the round belt. Early sewing machines utilize the leather belt joined either by metal staple glued to a greater effect. So, this is the uh, this is the example of the round belt sewing machine they were using the round belt earlier in earlier design timing belt are also known as toothed or synchronous belt or positive transfer belt and uh, they can track relative movement between the driving and the driven pulley these belts have teeth that fit into the matching toothed pulley when correctly tensioned, they can they have no slippage, run at constant speed, and are often used to transfer direct motion for indexing or timing purpose. So some of the indexing mechanism it require the timing belt. They are often used in the in lieu of chains or gears. So the timing belt instead of uh, chain or gear, wherever the chain or gear cannot be used, we can we can think of using the timing belt so they they are less noise and a lubricant bath is not necessary so as in the case of chain or the gear we require lubrication but in the case of timing belt the lubrication is not required camshafts of automobile miniature timing system and the stepper motor often utilizes these belts timing belts are used in the stepper motor some of the earlier camshafts of the automobile also using the timing belt Timing belt need least tension of all the belts and are amongst the most efficient. Timing belt is most efficient comparing with the other types of belt drive. Right? They can bear up to 150 kilowatt at a speed of 5000 meters per minute. And these are all the examples of the timing belt used in different applications. So, this is the application of timing belt in the mechanism. Cycle, cycle driving mechanism and these are all different types of uh, belt cross section of the belt flat belt v belt multiple v and round belt the flat belt of thickness 0.75 to 5 millimeter round belt of diameter 10 to 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter and v belt of width b 8 to 19 millimeter so these are all the general uh, cross section of the the four different types of belt Next we talk about the belt friction, belt drives depends on the friction to operate, but if the friction is excessive there will be wastage of energy and rapid wear on the belt. So the main principle of belt drive, it is a friction between the belt and the pulley, but in the friction is excessive there will be loss of energy and there will be wear of the belt. Factors which affect the belt friction include the belt tension contact angle and the material from which belts and pulleys are made. So, we have to be very careful on the belt tension. In the design, we have to adjust the belt tension and the contact angle, arc of contact or the contact angle, particularly on the smaller pulley and the material of the belt, they are important to control the belt friction. Then belt tension, power transmission is a function of belt tension. However, also increasing the increasing with the tension is the stress load on the belt and the bearing so the belt tension depends on the it will increase when you have more belt tension it will increase the stress on the belt and the bearing so it will give the directly the power is go it goes to the bearing so it will it will stress the bearing of the driving system the ideal belt is that of the lowest tension which does not slip at a high load this is the condition required the ideal belt design condition it should have the lowest tension which does not slip at the same time when you have lowest tension it should not slip particularly uh, operating at a higher load or maximum load for which the belt is designed 
the belt tensions should also be adjusted by the to the belt type size speed and the pulley diameter so we can adjust this there will be provision in the pulley arrangement to adjust the belt tension so in all the design there will be some arrangement for adjusting the belt tension so because of over running the when the belt is running for over a period of time the belt tension may change so we have to adjust the belt tension so we require some provision in the arrangement of the belt drive to adjust the belt tension belt tension is determined by measuring the force to deflect the belt at a given distance per inch of the pulley that we out that is how we are measuring the belt tension then belt wear fatigue is the culprit for most belt problem so what is fatigue type of loading so you have studied continuously uh, varying load continuously varying load so the load will be fluctuating alternatively higher load lower load so that kind of fatigue load is the problem for the belt wear so this wear is caused by stress from the rolling around the pulley so the belt is rolling around the pulley so alternatively it will be running on slack side and the tight side so there will be change in the load so that causes the belt wear high belt tension excessive slippage adverse environment conditions and the belt overload caused by shock vibration contribute to the belt fatigue so these are all the conditions so we have to in the design we have to consider all these factors so tension excessive slippage factor the environment the working condition the belt overloading uh, like uh, shocking vibration they are contributing the fatigue belt fatigue which leads to belt wear and these are all the belt material used for the various types of belt leather oak tanned or chrome tanned leather belt rubber canvas or cotton impregnated with rubber for greater tensile strength steel reinforcement is used and the plastic belt material fabric like canvas or woven cotton so these are all the this is one cross section of the belt with number of plies so we have number of layers so that is called as number of plies so alternatively we have the bottom cover and then we have the fabric fabric lining and skim rubber or canvas and we have a top cover so this is the cross section of a belt the belt thickness can be built by number of layers the number of layers is known as ply so there will be three ply four ply five ply six ply and eight ply type of belt so the number of plies depends on the type of load for heavier load we require more plies for light load we may select 3 or 4 5 heavier load 6 or 8 that is general selection procedure so ply is the number of layers of the belt material flat belt flat belt are made by urethane or also rubber impregnated fabric reinforced with steel wire or nylon cord to take the tension load the surface of the flat belt may have a friction surface coating so because friction is very important for the running for efficient running of the flat belt there will be some surface coating which give friction flat belts are quite efficient at high speed and can transmit large amount of power over a long distance so the selection of belt depends on the distance between the pulley and the amount of power so when you have longer distance with more power normally we have to select the flat belt and the v belt are made by fabric or cord usually cotton rayon or nylon and impregnated with rubber v belts are used for shorter distance they are less efficient comparing with the flat belt than the flat belt and made only in certain length and have no joints for shorter distance we have to select the v belt and timing belt are made of rubberized fabric and steel steel wire and have teeth that fit into the grooves cut on the periphery of this sprocket so this is the timing belt it is made by rubberized rubberized fabric or steel wire the timing belt does not slip or stitch that is the advantage so it is more efficient comparing with the flat and the v belt but the 
amount of power transmitter will be less comparing with the other two types timing belt transmit power at a constant angular velocity ratio no initial tension is necessary and the cost of the belt is very high so it is very selectively used particularly for running the stepper motor and the pneumatic control certain the certain the uh, machine tools we require pneumatic control so we use the timing belt then we discuss about the belt joints when the endless belts are available are not available then the belts are cut to from the big roll and the ends are joined together by fastener there are three types of belt joints cemented joint laced joint and the hinged joints so cemented joints made by manufacturer by the manufacturer to form an endless belt is preferred than other joint so they are cemented they are joined together by by the manufacturer himself and it will it is made as endless belt laced joint is formed by punching hole on the line in line across the belt leaving margin between edges edge and the hole metal laces laced joints are made like a staple connection the point are the points are driven through the flush side of the belt and the clinched on the inside so this is what the laced joint so we have the metal laces so it is inserted in the hole cut on the belt material so with some margin we leave the we drill the hole and the insert the metal laces hinged joint so we have metal hinges may be fastened to the belt end and the connected by the steel or fiber pin so this is disjointed and the belt is jointed so we have metal hinges so the hinges are joined together by means of proper pressing so this is the hinged joint so these are all different types of belt joints available uh, which we can so all the three types this is actually cemented hinged or laced joints are available uh, for fabricating the endless belts for running over the pulleys so we stop here so these are all the books i published in mechanical engineering subject the first book is design of transmission system which you can refer or you can refer to the youtube video lectures published uploaded in the youtube channel for better learning and the problem what i am going to solve here it is only from university examination question paper so we rec i request you to use the video lectures subscribe the channel for updated video for your better learning so thank you for watching please post your comments on the comments box you can contact me through my email id or whatsapp number for more information we'll meet again we continue with the design of flat belt in the next lecture